As Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy is reflected on around the world today, the 50th anniversary of his death, celebrities and prominent figures are joining the chorus in sharing how his reach reverberates in their lives. The fact that I'm walking this carpet starring in a movie, that's the impact he had on my life. I'm grateful for his life. I'm grateful that he sacrificed his life so that way we could live better. Life. King and his work has been top of mind for stars at recent red carpets and events as they reflect on the progress that has been made in racial equality in the decades since the icon's assassination. He said it the best. Uh, we've come so far, but we, boy, do we have a long way to go. He's probably one of the, the greatest spirits to ever touch this planet for so many different reasons. This is his ability to communicate with all his, his giant heart, um, but then ultimately just his, his connection. And I feel like that's, you know, that's felt still to this day. He's such an incredible icon and a legend. And I think one thing that's so tremendous about him of the many things that are incredible is the way that he galvanized people. We're on the moon now. To organize in their own community. So I think what I would say is the way that we honor his legacy is we work is we work diligently. And we're in a time of real seismic shifts, but it doesn't happen by accident. When we're trying to dismantle old systems and acknowledge systemic issues, we have to work and we have to organize in our living rooms. Samuel L. Jackson chose written form to remember King, penning an essay for The Hollywood Reporter about how King's death led him to activism. Martin Luther King Jr. was killed tonight in Memphis. Upon hearing the news on April 4th, 1968, Jackson, who was then in college, writes that he followed actors Bill Cosby and Robert Culp to Memphis in order to join the sanitation workers' strike that King had been organizing there when he was killed. Jackson writes, We weren't thinking of it in any historical context, but we were glad there was something we could do other than burn, loot, and destroy our own neighborhood that we could do something that's going to make these people's lives better, especially knowing that King was killed for something as simple as, in that moment, a garbage men strike. Other stars took to social media to reflect on King's legacy today. Ava DuVernay tweeting out he was 39 years old, hashtag MLK50 with this photo. Donnie Wahlberg getting a little more in depth with, we can quote Dr. King today, then go back to our lives of spewing hatred out the other side of our mouths tomorrow, or we can honor Dr. King every day by standing up for what's right while speaking words of and committing acts of love today, tomorrow, and forever. And Shonda Rhimes tweeting out, today we honor and remember your courage, contributions, and teachings. Thank you, MLK. For City News, I'm Devo Brown.